And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Red Terran in the Northwest, and it is Delta Quadrant, so it's a Terran again. Uh, Chuck, uh, the Blue Terran in the Northeast, he says thank you, you too, he's a U2 fan. And once again, people, uh, cap con Caps Lock is Cruise Control for awesome! So he sticks with it, that's why my whole name is in caps. Wait, it's all in lowercase. You guys know what I mean. Supply Depot going down. About the same time as mine. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Oh, looks like he's got about a five-point lead on me. Er, damn you, Chuck. Isn't he like a secret agent or something? I'll be honest, I don't watch that show. Wasn't it canceled? Nah, I still see advertisements for it, so. Um, let me know. Are you guys fans of Chuck? I, I, should I be watching it? It's not something I have been watching. I watched Heroes. I got into Heroes, except for that last season. That was a bad season. But I was looking forward to it coming back after that bad season. But it never did. They canceled it. Ugh. Another barracks going down for him. It's kind of an early barracks. And it will delay his orbital command, so he's forced to get another SCV. I, on the other hand, am also getting an SCV. But my barracks is not up yet. That's why. Uh, so once that, come on, morph. There we go. I did that with my mind. Thought there was something up there, but that's just the mini map playing tricks with my eyes. I was wondering what the hell was going on. I'm like, what? But there was nothing there. Uh, so he is able to get that overall command up late, and uh, he's able to take out my SCV. I finally scouted where he was. Does he know where I am? I don't think he does. No, he has no clue. I've scouted every other one. Found out that he was blocking off. Do I see that second barracks? No, I just see the one. Uh, nor do I see the fast expansion here. So he is uh, assuming that I will not be attacking early. Um, but I have found in many, many games that even if I don't think I can win with an attack, it's always good to, f to, to send maybe five or six troops in, even as little as that, uh, to get, you know, some pressure on them, make them think that there's an attack coming, force them to spend money on an army while you uh, expand, tech up, any, any, you know, anything like that. To really expand a lead that you might have. And he's going for the destructible debris, taking out four, five uh, marines. Four of them were bunched up. Um, and he's r actually rallying his barracks there. See, this is what I don't understand. He got a tech lab, right? For Stimpak? Is that it? Because he's massing marines. That's all he's getting. Marines and a stim pack, and of course supply depots. Because you always need supply depots. It's uh, If there was one thing I, I would love about this game, it's to not have to build supply depots. But then again, it is a crucial part of the game, so it's not something I think they're going to take out. But it is something that I never look forward to in this game. Even though they do provide some use, of course, here with the block off. Thanks for demonstrating, Chuck, because I did not. Uh, it's not something I've been doing against Terran lately, um, because once again, I've never seen anybody do a Hellion Rush. I don't see why I should have to guard against a strategy that I've never seen before. I do know that it happens, I do know that it exists, but it just hasn't existed for me yet. Here I take the Zelnaga Tower because it worked well for me before, and we've actually, the last uh, battle that I had uh, on Lost Temple against the Protoss, we went back and forth fighting over the, the Zelnaga Towers for a while in the middle of the game there. But, um, uh, you know, it gives me map control. Look at that. When his army gets to here, I can see it and start getting an army here. So he has to run all the way across here, and I can get one round in early, uh, one round of um, producing, one round of production in early. And he does have the expansion up. He's had it for quite some time, it looks like. Uh, missile turrets going down around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. 
Uh, second orbital command, he's keeping a good track of his energy use there. I would have loved an earlier attack from me because um, he did go for the mass marines early, but I simply didn't know due to bad scouting, or at least uh, no real early scouting after that first SUV that died. And here I see, oh, he doesn't have an expansion yet. That's a good sign. But he does have an expansion, I just can't see it from there. Stim pack almost upgraded for me. Concussive shells also on the way. Weapons upgrade one on the way. I did finish combat shield, but it looks like his is going to finish just in time for this battle. No. It comes in about halfway through. No, it's still not up. That's 110, not 100. And there it finally does go down, but it looks like he is down to just uh, s six marines, it looks like. He's already lost so many, a thousand, um, 2,500, oh my gosh, he is racking up the losses here. And here I'm down to just three marauders, but it has been uh, well worth it here. That marauder does go down, so does that marine so here I'm gonna take out the, the reactor because I don't want him producing two at once anymore and of course he moves the marines out and is still on the bad rally point but I am able to take out that um, that reactor and the supply depot will fall as well so looking at that I definitely came out ahead almost yeah over 500 minerals there uh, so I do have the early lead and what is he doing? He is getting more marines and another barracks. Uh, he's lifting off, uh, wow, lifting off and moving it so that it's no longer blocking off anything so I can just run right through. Getting another reactor down on the barracks, getting a missile turret up to add on the ones that he's got around his base. I, of course, am not going for any sort of medevac drop or anything like that. I am going for an expansion at, um, down here, so, really, I, I, I don't know, I've played this map so much, uh, that when I get that map control, I go, you know what, forget it, I'm going for the command center here, I don't want to waste my time with this destructible debris. Now, just getting infantry upgrade is Chuck, the secret agent, double O Chuck. I'm running out of things to say about him. But he is getting a factory. Is that his first factory? It is. He's got three racks up just now getting a factory. I've had seed. I actually have um, starports out. Uh, he's had to focus. No, it doesn't even look like he's focused on getting uh, that big of an army back yet. Oh, because he's... No, that was me. I was supply locked. I'm not sure what he's doing. I mean, he is going for four Marines and a Marauder. And here I'm like, uh, you know what? Let's go for it again. Let's see if these tanks will help me out. Because I didn't see any any sort of siege tanks come out. And he still doesn't have anything out of that factory, although it is completed. Uh, no rally points set on these barracks. He's still only got the, the, com the first command center, the orbital command, hotkey, no hotkeys whatsoever. As opposed to me, I've got four hotkeys. I still don't have my army hotkeyed though. So here I'm hoping that he goes, he walks in, and he does. He keeps on running in right into, look at that, right into my line of fire for these siege tanks. Uh, thank you for that, Chuck. Um, down goes the missile turret. I still, do I even have medevacs out on the field? I have one out but it is not helping right now it is uh guarding the expansion and there chuck leaves the game so pressure 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 even though he had 55 harvesters look at all those harvesters good lord i did not realize he had so many oh my gosh can i still select him yeah how many is that that's 24, 25 harvesters there, and a mule, all on all on minerals, right? And 22 and a mule here. And yes, yes, he did have the lead in minerals, but it did not help him any. 
because he did not spend them. 3,500, good lord. Okay, so that was a relatively quick game uh, where some pressure and some teching up really helped. Look at that, four kills, one kill. Yeah, four kills. Not bad. Upgrades, of course, helped. I did not even need the medevacs out because I was able to get some push, put some pressure on him. Um, he did expand early, but he really focused on the economy even though he was being pushed on. And therefore, he did not get an army out. He does have to make that choice between the economy and the army uh, when you press him early. So, hope you guys learned something from this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Bye.